Hi, it's Rita here. So I want to show you how you can make your own deodorant at home. This is a really great way to cut out toxins, especially through areas that we're supposed to detox from. Um, and we often put on chemical things that actually stop us from being out of sweat. And that can actually really be really bad. And a lot of uh, deodorants have things like aluminium in there, which is really toxic. We've got parabens that have issues with um, endocrine disruptors, so they affect how your hormones work. There's fragrances, there's triclos, and there's so many things in deodorants that are not ideal. We want to show you how easy it is to make your own. So what you'll need is some shea butter, bicarb soda, coconut oil, arrowroot, kaolin clay, glycerin and vitamin E, and then some essential oils if you'd like to add those in there too. I'm going to show you how quick it is to do. Um, you'll also need some containers. So you can use a glass container or you could use an aluminium container or a plastic container if you want. Um, I'd probably prefer, if it was me, either glass or aluminium, um, especially because we're going to put something warm into the plastic. But this is a really great way to actually have multiple sizes too. So you can have something that goes in your bag and things at home, all that. So you can tailor it to what it is that you would actually like. So first thing we want to do is get our shea butter melted. So I'll pop that onto our, um, our little stove that's here. So I want 15 grams of shea butter. 15 grams of that. And that's really lovely and nourishing for your, um, for your skin too. So I'm just going to pop that into my double boiler. So all I've got here is a saucepan with a little bit of water in it. Um, and that's going to boil up and gently melt that shea butter for me. So while I'm waiting for that to melt, turn up one more. It might start to rattle a little bit. We'll see how we go. So I'm going to get a container. And what you can do is actually um, zero off your scales each time. So every time you're putting in a new ingredient, you don't need to use a different container. Other thing that you can do when you're making your own deodorant is actually melt the shea butter in here and then mix everything in straight in the container. It saves any other containers needing to be cleaned up. So um, next thing we want to do is put together our bicarb, arrowroot and kaolin clay. So we've got our bicarb and we want 40 grams of that. So some people have issues with um, bicarb in their deodorant. It's kind of something you'll need to experiment with and see how it goes for you personally, but um, it's really great at absorbing not only the um, odors, but also the moisture that can come from our underarms, obviously. So that's 40 grams of bicarb. And then we have our arrowroot, which is 10 grams. Get that spoon back. 10 grams, so I'm just going to zero that off. So I know what I'm putting in. And 10 grams of this arrowroot. It's also known as tapioca, or tapioca flour is another option. Um, and we're also going to pop in, there we go, some clay. So we've got our kaolin clay goes in next. That's that one. Um, and we're going to just do five grams of clay. Clay is really great at absorbing toxins out of your system. So I'll zero that off again. I'm going to put five grams in. Um, you can also, you can use different types of clays if you want. Kaolin clay is a very gentle one. So it's a good option um, if you maybe have sensitive skin. Great for using on babies as well. Um, it's got lots of uses. So, so five grams of your kaolin clay. And then what we're going to do is just mix that around. And then once our shea butter is nearly melted, and all we're going to do is actually just pop that into our shea butter. So let's move that out of the way. And while we're waiting for that to continue to melt, so you can see it doesn't actually take long. We're, we're almost halfway there with the melting. Um, one thing that you can do when you are starting to use a natural deodorant is um, our underarms and our, um, our glands tend to build up toxins, particularly areas where we sweat from. So a really good thing that you can do when you're starting out using a uh, natural deodorant is to do what's called a pit detox. Now, a pit detox sounds kind of gross because it's going to, well, it's actually going to detox all the nasty stuff that's in your system. So we need to get rid of all the chemicals and things that might be in this area um, that when you use a natural deodorant, it might actually lead to you smelling. So we want to detox ourselves of all those yucky chemicals um, and then allow those pores to be working the way they're supposed to. 
the way you do this is you get some apple cider vinegar. I can't remember exactly how much. I think it's just a small amount of apple cider vinegar, um, equal parts apple cider vinegar, and then you get bentonite clay as well. Now, when you are using bentonite clay, don't use metal with that because the drawing properties of bentonite clay can be affected by your um, metal spoons. You mix those together and then you just um, put it onto your underarms and you leave it there for about 15 minutes. Best time to do this is in the morning or the evening before you're going to have a shower. Put this on, do whatever you need to do before you're going to jump in the shower and then um, wash that off. And you can do that every day if you want. You can do it three or four times a week. And you'll start to see a difference in the, the smell that you're making too. And some people will do that and not necessarily have to even use a deodorant as often. The other thing that can affect whether you're smelling or not is the type of food that you're eating, making sure that you're drinking enough water so that actually helps your body to detox as well. Um, so a lot of those like really high fatty foods or ones that our body just can't digest as well will sometimes excrete themselves through our pores. So the, the sweat glands as well is one way that they'll come out. So if you can eat a much healthier, more plant-based diet, you might find that you're not going to be as smelly. So how are we going with our shea butter is melted. We've got one little blob to go. Um, the other thing that you want to do is choose your essential oils. And there's many, many options that you can do. We have got little recipe cards and recipes on our website that have got a couple of um, options for you there. But have a little bit of fun and choose something that you like to use on yourself or the aromas that you like. So um, it can be personally preference for you and you might like make one batch and you really like those that, that flavour or that aroma and then you might change it the next time you do it. So work with it and see what works with you and you'll see this is so simple to make. So we've got our shea butter in here and then we're just going to combine our dry ingredients in here. And we're going to give that a mix so it's combined really well. And this is going to make a paste deodorant. You can actually make ones that are more a, what's it called, a, or a spray if you wanted to. Um, and uh, also a roller type one. You can actually use an essential oil roller bottle and do it that way too. Um, next, we're going to add the coconut oil and the glycerin. Gonna get that into there. So I'm going to bring back our scales and this is normal coconut oil that we're going to use and we want uh, 15 grams. So this is extra virgin coconut oil. This is organic. So um, coconut oil is really nourishing for your skin. Um, it's a really lovely, uh, it can get a little bit Breezy at times, you could use a uh, fractionated coconut oil, but we actually want to have something that will solidify. We don't want it overly runny. So we've got our 15 grams of extra virgin coconut oil, then we've got a couple of drops of glycerin. There's a couple of big drops. <laughs> and then we're also going to pop in, are we going to, we'll get, mix that through first, because that'll actually melt the coconut oil through. You can see that that's starting to make a paste as the coconut oil melts through there. We're getting a really lovely paste happening. That's through and it's cooling down as well. As we're putting in those dry ingredients and the coconut oil, it's actually taking some of that heat away and it makes it a bit easier. Uh, it makes it a lot cooler as well. So we're just getting the lumps out. And then, we're also going to add our vitamin E, which is great for your skin, but it's also a natural preservative too. So we're just going to put in, I think it's two drops of vitamin E. So it's a little bit extra. Pumps rather than drops. Um, this helps it to last a little bit longer and it's really great for your skin. Now, we're going to add our essential oils. This is seriously how simple it is. We melt some coconut oil, put some dry ingredients in and then flavour it however we want. So you want to put about 30 drops in, roughly, you can put less. Um, just be aware of what oils you're using if you are going to do more. And I want to use something that has a bit of aroma to it, and I love lemongrass. So lemongrass is going to be, um, it's quite a strong oil too. So I'm going to put 10 drops of lemongrass in there. Then we've got some cedar wood as well. Cedar wood is a, a base note, so that's actually going to last a little bit longer too. So you get that, that first smell of lemongrass and your cedar wood will actually last a bit longer. So I'm going to do, see if this is going to actually, there is some in there. 
seed wood always takes a little bit longer to come out. Mm. What I'm going to do is take the lid off. And I'm going to do it this way. I think there's about eight drops there. Then we're going to put some lemon in. Lemon's great for odours as well. And I'm also going to pop in some lavender. So we've got around 30 drops in here. Just mix that through. And that smells amazing. <laughs> it's really good. Now, if you're not sure um, how your oils will go together, a really good way to test them out is to hold all of the oils um, in their bottles under your nose. Take big, deep breaths of it. Move it quickly because as you move it quickly, it actually sends all of those aromas together up your nose. And if something's smelling a little bit strong, so maybe my cedar wood and my lemongrass are a bit stronger, or I want to have that as a stronger aroma, that's fine. We might drop that down. And now I can smell a lot more of the lemon and the lavender. So for each drop of um, cedar wood or lemongrass, I would do two drops of the other oils. This is just one way that you can work out what might be a good combination. I actually wanted more lemongrass and I wanted more cedar wood and those other ones there are a kind of a lingering light um, aroma for it. So we have our paste and all you need to do is choose your container of choice and just stick it into there and that's it. So you need to leave this for a couple of hours so that it will actually harden up. Um, I want to say harden up, it's going to be a bit solid. Um, and then you just use your finger and apply that on as paste. And that's it. You get your own natural deodorant, which is a really lovely low tox way to support yourself. And if you make sure that you do your pitch detoxes as well, you're going to find that your body will be in a much better state and not full of those toxins. So I hope you give this a try. It's super simple. It's only going to take you five minutes to make your own um, deodorant and the cost wise is minimal. You saw how much ingredients we've used here and you'll be able to make lots and lots of batches of that. So hopefully you'll give this a try. See ya.